When we see patients who come in who appear healthy, but they have a first degree family member who had not just early coronary disease, but an acute MI, especially if there's sudden cardiac death, we don't wait for some data point like an LDL cholesterol, ApoB, LPA, any data point to inform our decision making about care. We know that person's at risk. And I wouldn't necessarily base a decision on any one data point. And even when all the data comes back normal, that person comes in, I say, look, the interventions we're talking about are living a healthy lifestyle and taking safe drugs. This is not like we have to chop off your leg and make a decision like that. We're talking about taking safe medicines and taking good care of yourself. It's a pretty easy decision point. And such a patient, whatever treatable metrics you see, you'd want to improve upon them. Even if your LDL cholesterol looks pretty good, I'd want to make you what I call hypobeta lipoproteinemia, the, the genetic people who do not get atherosclerotic heart disease. And that's basically an LDLC. APOB under 40 milligrams per deciliter.